grab the thing there and bring it about oh about an inch from your mouth. Oi. <laughs> okay, if you want to, the whole arm comes like that. Yes. The whole arm. Right? Okay. Yep, perfect. And then, um, yeah, you put on the headphones so you can hear the station. Okay. Um, go ahead. Uh, no, we're we're in weather now, um, so we're not live. But as soon as the weather ends, we'll hear music like a bumper music. As soon as we start hearing the music, that means we'll be live. Okay. So. So it'll be about 40 seconds. Okay. Thank you for having me on. <laughs> no, not at all. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back. This is Happenings Q&A. Frank and Kim Carmichael, along with Brianna Stockdale, coming to you from the Miller Light Studios, mm -hmm. uh, as well as Stino Cerigliano. Stino is the one that uh, helps keep this show on the air. Well, if you look to the sky, well, maybe let's let's change that. If you if you go to uh, to Facebook, you're going to find a page there that is just growing in popularity, continues to amass an amazing number of followers, and um, we were intrigued by this, so we reached out to our next guest, that would be N. J. Freud, and asked her if we could uh, find out more about her. She was uh, very accommodating. Agreed to an interview, you find you'll find her story on the front page of the current issue of the Smart Reader. Um, view from above, I guess that pretty much says it all, wouldn't you say, Rihanna? It does. Yes, and uh, she joins us now. Good afternoon and welcome. Ah, thanks for having me. Well, the pleasure is all ours. Okay, so view from above Wisconsin. Yes, yes. I'm view. looking it up on <laughs> Facebook as we speak. Yeah, view from above dash Wisconsin. Wisconsin. All right. So how long have you been into drones? So I've been droning for about five years. Oh, really? Yes, yes. Okay. So you were uh, one of the early droners. Yes, yes. I actually have an older drone that the parts are starting to fall off it, so it's time to retire it. Did you start with, with like a cheaper one to see if you liked it? So you got to be really careful. Uh, and I'm kind of very literal when it comes to drones because they're, they can be very dangerous. So um, it's really important that you get a reputable drone. Uh, I'm a big I DJI fan. I definitely go along with that. So a person who flies a drone is called a droner? It, you know, they all have different names. Okay. But yeah, basically the, the, the people that I have on my site that are drone people, I end up calling them droners. Okay. So now... Uh-oh. Okay. What? Oh boy. This you didn't good. have a drone over that, did no, you? No, I did not. Yeah. Not my fault. No problem, Steve. Right. No, thank I you. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, MJ, I can honestly say this has never happened to us. <laughs> no, it hasn't. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me, no one. Yeah, we're getting the news, so. All right. Okay, hey, John, what do you want us to do? All right, welcome back. This is Happenings Q&A. Frank and Kim Carmichael, Rihanna Stockdale, coming to you from the Miller Light Studios. Our guest is MJ Freund. We're talking about drones. Apparently, um, there was um, some sort of interference, outside interference from a drone. And, um, <laughs> it wasn't my drone. No. It was not a drone. <laughs> there was drones buzzing a tower or something. Yeah, there was one outside the window. I saw it. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, but but indeed, I think there are irresponsible droners that give responsible droners a bad name. Absolutely, there are some. Um, I don't want to say a lot though, because I think most drone people realize the you know the magnitude of not being responsible. Um, but I think you have a lot of the younger ones that maybe just kind of get out there. They don't really know. And I'll be honest with you, I, I when I started, I, I didn't know what I was doing. So it was, you know, I took it out to a field because that's just who I am. I'm not the type of person that's like, let's throw it in the backyard and go. But you got people that, you know, just want to do that. And you, you just got to really think through it and practice and, so and learn. You dipped your toe in. Yeah. But the problem is you get some of them that fly by airports. That's when you, you 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 have problems, and that's the problem with the junky ones, because they allow you to be able to fly by the airports. Where my DJI, I can't even get the drone to start because they have the software so tight wow. and it's locked out. So if I were to go to the Kenosha Airport try to start my drone, it will 
it won't even start. I can't even get it going. But you get jump your drones and you can get them started. And so, but you would hope that you know most, if all, all people would have enough sense to not do that. All that sort. They're gonna be all the over cool that. thing about what you've been doing with your drone is you're capturing some absolutely magnificent images and I've seen many of them. I have a lot of friends that will actually share your images on on their Facebook page and of course give you credit for it. Yeah, um, I appreciate that. So is there a special uh, learning curve or technique to learn how to photograph with a drone? Absolutely. So uh, um, it, is, it is a challenge. Um, and especially with a drone, because a ground camera, you're usually facing up, which is towards the light. With a, with a drone, you're facing down, which is not towards the light. So you have to really focus on light and color and angles um, when I do take the shot. So there, there, there is, and it's a lot of practice. Like I said, I've been doing this for five years. Um, well, and, and learning to frame the image right yes, has got to be, uh, you've got to have almost a little bit of an artist eye, I would right. imagine, for that. You are correct. And you know what, though, there, Kenosha is so beautiful with the lake, it doesn't take much. You, know, you just go down to the lakefront and it, uh, there's the sunset. You're like, ah. Okay. All right. <laughs> so I've been, I've been going to your site, and obviously you have this somewhat perfected. Have you been able to monetize? And then the second reason oh, was to try to then build a... Uh, some type of monetary thing for me to then grow my business, um, which has been very helpful because I've had people outside of Facebook then contact me to do jobs for them. So like contractors, um, I've been doing construction sites, real estate. Um, so this is like one massive calling card for you. Yes, yes, it, oh. it, it has turned into that. So and actually, if I remember correctly by reading this uh, wonderful story about MJ on the cover of Smart Reader, that you've actually used your drone in helping with lost dogs and they, and uh, that kind of thing. So that's kind of in that same absolutely uh, genre. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I've, 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 uh, I've, and that was one of the reasons. Another reason why I got into droning is I wanted to look for lost dogs. I'm a big dog fan and I love animals. So I, uh, the first dog that I was searching for, I actually saw on the drone. And we were able to actually catch that dog, and after that, it just kind of skyrocketed. Oh, and once you get into that yeah. community, yeah. man, every dog person no. in town has your card and knows your name. You're don't absolutely they? right. You get calls, and I do that for free. I oh, don't, that's I don't so charge. Nice. So if you I get know. a rescue group, they say, "Can you come out and help us look for this dog?" And it's like, yeah. You never know. You might get a call from uh, Kenosha County Sheriff David Beth. I know they have a drone, but yes. they might want to augment it if there's a big break over at the detention center. <laughs> oh, right? Frank! I have a <laughs> feeling that that, that uh, with that kind of thing, that's, with her that's police a science background, yeah. she could be part of the manhunt. All right, so, we'll, so, we'll pass on the information to Sheriff Dave. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So actually, interesting enough, um, yes, they do, and they're very professional at what they do, and they got some really nice equipment. I'd love to sit with them sometime to learn from them. Just but don't go they, in the circle. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Frank, Frank, Frank and I got in trouble for stepping in the circle when they were flying at, at one of our events because we wanted to talk to them because sure. we were interested in what yeah. they were doing yeah, and, and they had this circle perimeter. And we're like, hey, and they're like, they're like yeah, step outside the circle. circle. <laughs> You're now being arrested. Yeah. 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 Sorry, we just wanted to ask a question. This is when they were doing surveillance over the carnival at Celebrate right. America. Uh, yeah, no, great group. Right. I mean, they, MJ Fry, can you fly them over people? No. So, um, so caveat to that. So, um, I got. I actually brought all my rules here, but the FAA basically states, and I'll say it verbatim: um, you're not you're not allowed to fly over sports events, um, and uh, not allowed to fly over people unless they are aware of your flight. So, let's say I'm out over by the pier and then there's people on the pier. I can't fly directly over them, but I can fly along the side of them, off to the right. I can be over uh, a building where they're standing next to. Um, so, so in I, other words, it always has to be almost like at an angle. Yes, right. yes, yes. So that's why during the Christmas tree lighting, I saw several drones kind of back where there weren't people, yes. and everybody else was kind of towards the tree. Yes, and, and I got to say, everybody was a very responsible drone operator in that situation. I was very happy to see and that's, that. Rihanna and I were actually together at that event, and we were yeah. looking and, and commenting on that, yeah. the, the fact yeah. that everybody was kind of off over the, the condos versus over yep. the... 
yep. uh, event itself. So you can get waivers. So if I, um, let's say I want to do uh, um, something where I'm actually over the top of people droning something like a, an event. Right. So um, if we wanted to have you come for Tribute Island or Cheese of Palooza, yes. we could or go you to want some... right over the top of you guys. I can get a waiver through the FAA that it typically takes a little bit of time, but if you know what day the event is on, you start ahead of time and you submit all this information to say why I'm gonna be safe, where I'm gonna fly, who's all involved. So there's a lot of eight questions that you have to answer, but you get the approval and, and then you So can, in other can words, fly. if if there was an individual out there that was in pursuit of a of a Guinness World Record for the largest cheese tasting, you could in advance request to be over the, the crowd. Correct, yes. The crowd yep. of thousands. Yep. But you know, but, but I'll be honest with you, over the top is nice, but at an angle is nicer. Because then you get people's faces, people can say, hey, there's me. Right. Um, and, and you get some True. nicer shots. So, but, um, but. All right, so you are a, a private pilot, right? I am. I you am. You have your license. So I have and... a private pilot, um, my instrument rating, along with high performance, which really? is, yeah. Uh, so you can do the landing gear up in uh, a, a high powered engine. Really? Wow. Yeah. I, I, I flew. Yeah. And um, that time on, under the hood. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. that was not for fun. instrument rating. Oh yeah, yeah, that was not fun. <laughs> I personally, I liked it. Did you? <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. I liked instrument flying. The one it was easier because you could just do your flight path and it would just take you, you know, right there. I just wanted to rip the hood off and see where my horizon was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, do you do much flying? So, um, because of my work, I had to travel a lot. Um, I've lived in a lot of different countries throughout my time at Abbott and now at Bee. Um, so I've had, I ended up having to stop flying because it's so costly even when you don't fly. Sure. Um, my dad and I went in on an airplane, a Cherokee 6 360, oh. and we had it out at the Kenosha Airport um, for about uh, four, almost going on five, we had it for five years about. Um, and what we found was it was just getting costly and me not being home, we, yeah, we ended yeah, up selling it. It's probably in. more cost effective to just rent a plane. It, it is, it is. Yeah. Or you can become, you can be part of a club. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. yep. Definitely. Yeah. Wow, you um, you've done a lot of things. Yeah. Right. Well, hey, we're, we're just about out of time. This is flown. Oh yeah, we yeah. haven't done any. No pun intended. Stuff. Yeah. But, <laughs> I know. Uh, but I, I want to wow. get this out because I want a lot of people to go to your site. Okay. And it is View From Above Wisconsin, yeah. right? View From Above Dash Wisconsin. And I, I assure you, you will not be disappointed. You've got some fascinating footage up there. Yeah, I, uh, it, it's funny, I was just telling Donnie as I was walking up here, I said, uh, I never realized how cool it is that people really want to be a part of Kenosha. You know, at first it was just, oh, I'll take some pictures, throw them up there, people will probably give me a lot of crap and move mm -hmm. on. But people really enjoy seeing Kenosha things, cool Kenosha well, things. There's, um, there's a, a network show. All they do is fly above certain countries or states. Like, uh -huh. Yeah, Ari with, Aerial America. Aerial oh, America. I love that show. And I don't know, is that on like, uh, yeah. is it, what channel is that? Is that on Discovery? Discovery. I think okay. it's the Discovery channel, yeah. yeah. So. Oh, that's the best. I wish we could have talked more about the drone. We'll, well have to have you back. Well, yeah, sadly, uh, we, we got okay. chipped a little bit out yeah. of our time Virginia here. Fry, we will have you back after the first of the year. Okay. okay. All right. In the meantime, pick up the current issue of uh, the Smart Reader. It's all in there. Yes, I'm, right. I'm in there, too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, CBS Network News is on its way. Well, is our...